I want to show you a problem of calculating the average power carried by a transverse wave. So a string has a linear density, mu, of 525 grams per meter, and it's under tension of 45 newtons. A sinusoidal wave of frequency 120 hertz and amplitude 8.5 millimeters is sent down the string. And the question is, at what average uh, rate does the wave transport energy? So what is the average power um, carried by the um, wave? So the average power is calculated as one half the linear mass density times the wave speed times the angular frequency of the wave to the second power times the, uh, times the amplitude of the wave to the second power. So from the statement of the problem, um, I have the linear mass density mu and I have the amplitude. So I'm still um, looking for V and omega in order to be able to uh, calculate the average power. So how would I find those two? Well, I know that um, the linear velocity V is related to the linear mass density and the tension in the string as tension divided by linear mass velocity, uh, linear mass density. And the angular frequency omega is related to the frequency of the wave as 2 pi times f. So those two formulas I will use to calculate v and omega. And then I will substitute all the known values in the formula for the average power and calculate it. Let's calculate the velocity of the wave, the wave speed. So the wave speed is square root of tension divided by the linear mass density, or that's 45 newtons divided by 0 0.525 kilograms per meter. So here I've converted the value of the linear mass density from grams per meter to kilograms per meter so that the units um, are compatible. And so after doing the division and canceling uh, all the appropriate units, I end up with 9.26 meters per second for the wave speed of the wave. Now let's calculate the angular frequency of the wave. So omega is equal to 2 pi times f. So that is 2 pi times 120 hertz. And this is equal to 754 radians per second. So the unit here, radians per second, because this is angular frequency, and remember, radians are dimensionless units. They are only used to indicate that we are dealing with angular frequency here. Um, the seconds in the unit here come from the fact that uh, 1 hertz is equal to an inverse second. So now I'm ready to substitute all my known values into the formula for the average power and calculate what's the average power equal to. So substituting everything in the formula for the average power and converting um, all units to be compatible so I can cancel them, cancel them out, I get the approximate power, uh, average power carried by the wave is 100 watts.